Hello, this is Devin from WP Theming, and this video tutorial should show you how to set up WordPress on most any cPanel system. cPanel is a common control panel for web hosts, so if you use someone like Bluehost or HostGator or Green Geeks or um, any number of hosts, a lot of them use cPanel. Um, and it's pretty easy to get WordPress, well, now it's pretty easy to set up WordPress for me using the cPanel system, but the first time I did it, it was a little bit difficult. And so I wanted to make this video to show you how to set it up. So I just downloaded the latest copy of WordPress from WordPress.org, and I'm going to unzip it. And I've already set up FTP information for the web domain that I'm going to install WordPress on. And this is at twolazygourmets.com, and I'm also logged into the cPanel system here, which looks like this. If you don't know how to use FTP, you can also use um, the file uploader um, that comes in a lot of the cPanel accounts. Um, but I definitely recommend downloading an FTP program if you're going to be working on your themes or your plugins a lot with WordPress. It makes it a lot easier. So. I've downloaded this. I'm going to actually put WordPress in the root domain. There are ways you can put it in a subfolder and still have it um, go to the root domain. And you might want to do this if you have a lot of subdomains and you don't want to clutter up the directory. Um, it also might be a little bit more secure because people expect WordPress to be in the root directory. Um, but this is going to be a small site um, and they're not going to have any subdomains. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it there. Um, so I've put all the, the files into the folder that I'm going to upload into and I just changed wp-config-sample to wp-config straight and I'll start this upload process. I use Dreamweaver. Um, you can use any number of programs. Um, transmit on the Mac. Let's see. There it is. Transmit um, for the Mac, or um, some people use Coda. There's a lot of FTP programs you can use. And I'll start uploading the first half of files here. And what we're going to be doing is setting up all the information that we need to put in this WP config file, which is a database name, a database user, a database password. And in most cases, the database is also set to localhost, but you may want to check. Um, with your web host to see if that's actually true. Um, and you can generally Google your web server name or your web host name and see if they actually use localhost. So one of the first things we can set up are the salts. And these are the authentication keys that WordPress uses. Um, and you definitely want to up these, update these because it will make your site more secure. Um, so what I did is I copied this um, link here from the WP config file and I'll just go load it and it gives me a set of random keys and I'll go ahead and copy those go back to my WP config file and put those there um, the other thing that's you can update right now is table prefix um, it's set to WP by default um, people recommend that you change this just for security because again if someone is trying to hack your site they will um, expect the default prefix to be WP so you can just add something else to it uh, let's say example site um, or you could change it all together and do something like that but for now I'll just keep it WP yes and I'm gonna update this all later okay so the next thing we need to do is set up the database name and you do this through cPanel you'll set up all your databases um, look in here you'll scroll down generally near the bottom where it says databases and click on MySQL databases and you can make whatever database name you want um, generally again the more characters the more the longer it is the harder it will be or the more secure it will be um, but I'm just going to call this WordPress because I'm going to update it later. And I'll create this database. And it tells me the added database is 2lazyg slash WordPress. So 
I'm going to copy that and that's what goes here under database name and then go back now we need to set up a database user which will use that database so let's just call this one WP user and you can generate a password for that and I'm just going to use this one that they give me and I'm going to want to paste that where it says password and I'll go ahead and create that user and so now it tells me I have this new user to lazy g underscore wp user so I'm going to put that user here And then one more step after you do that is you need to add your user that you just created to the database you just created. And so go ahead and click add here. And choose all privileges, and make your changes, and go back. And now this user should be set up to use this database with this password. So as soon as my files finish uploading, I will show you the rest of the process. So once you've uploaded all your files, which should just take a couple minutes, you can go back to your base domain, which is here to lazygourmets.com, and just go ahead and refresh your browser. And it's telling me it has an error because I haven't uploaded my WP config file yet, which has all the database information. So that's the file I always upload last, and I'll go ahead and do that now. And when I refresh again, it should give me um, the, the place where I can install WordPress. So I put in my site title. Um, I would change the username from admin to something that you can remember. Create a new password, put in your email, and um, then go ahead and install WordPress. It's just as easy as that. If you get an error, say in a database connection error, likely means you put in one of the things wrong in the WP config file. So you may have your database name wrong or your password, or perhaps it's not actually localhost, it's something else. Um, so those are some things to check, but I hope this gets you started uh, with WordPress on your own site when using cPanel. And if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments here on the site.